Pero la... Oh my god, thanks for buying my Pokeball. Thank you. They have crispy I love you. <laughs> Not trying to get diabetes, but you know. Diabetes minute. Oh my god! Ultra strength! I feel like okay, what are you getting? I'm getting blueberry lemon sorbet, mm -hmm. same as you. Nahal's gonna be getting chocolate twilight gelato. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. Okay, speak again. Sorry, I just started. How much are you taking? We have to do like a zoom in aesthetic okay. shot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, How is it? Oh, it's actually really good. Um, I mean, it can taste like most of the lemon more than like the blueberry. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it tastes like it lemon. Like from... Blueberry comes out. <laughs> lemon. Oh. <laughs> what would you give it as a rating? I would give it five gelatos out of five point five. Out of I would ten? Say like a four out of five. It doesn't make I sense. Love gelato. Okay. Anna, you got any lasting words? Shit, I wasn't expecting this. Um, thank you so much. For, okay, uh, that was too long. <laughs> I swear to God, this is in the vlog. I'm gonna throw hands. Are you learning to edit your first video? I am. Watch, ready? I literally did that. <laughs> I did that for you. Um, I don't recall. Hey okay, guys, are you ready? Are you ready? I'm like, are you ready? As she flashes me the shirt. <laughs> Hi guys, are you ready? Whoa. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. My exams got canceled yesterday and they basically got rescheduled all the way to the 22nd. They were supposed to be held today, but because of this ice storm is going on for the entire weekend, you can probably hear it right now because it sounds really insane. Basically, I've been watching Chef's Table because a couple new episodes came out, volume four, the pastry volume, which I'm really, really excited about. If you haven't heard about the Chef's Table, I mentioned it a really, really long time ago, but I'll just bring it up again. Uh, Chef's Table is basically kind of like a food style documentary that tells the story of these chefs with like Michelin stars or just really really famous chefs and the main reason why I enjoy this documentary so much is because of the way they film it the cinematography is insane I love it um, and the way they tell these stories and how they kind of just touch upon the history of these chefs, how they were inspired, how they came to love food so much. It's so sentimental, it's so precious. I love this documentary. And for anyone that's looking for anything new to watch, check it out. This is another impromptu gems documentary recommendation quarter, which I seem to be doing in every vlog. I hope you guys don't mind. I just love documentaries so much and I hope you guys do too. <laughs> so this is what the current condition looks like, as you can see. I literally cannot even open up my window, which is insane. Like, it's just glued shut. 
I'm finally back home. Oh my god. It feels like forever since I've been back home, but it's literally only been like a week. It felt like forever though. I'm currently unpacking all of my stuff. So my backpack and everything else is just over there. I'm wearing my Polaroid sweater, which I just got from Forever 21. Um, it was so cute, so I had to wear it right away. I thought I would kind of end this vlog by talking about how, you know, my first year went. So it's crazy to think that not too long ago, I was so nervous and so anxious about going to my first day of orientation. It's gonna be four months off. I don't really know what I'm gonna be doing during the four months, but I do have lots of plans with my friends to head out to the city and to do all sorts of things. So you guys will definitely see a lot of um, content over the summer. Obviously it won't be school related. I mean, I will try my best because I know a lot of you guys still do want like school content from this channel. We'll just have to see because I honestly don't know how I'm gonna do anything school related since I won't be in school. <laughs> Hope you guys will still be excited for the different type of content that will be coming out for the next couple of months. Uh, and yeah, hopefully my plans don't flop because normally that's just what happens with summer plans They always seem to find a way to never happen for some reason overall I would like to say that my first year went pretty well I mean, I expected a lot worse for some reason, but that's just like my anxiety talking I just wanted to end this vlog on that kind of sentimental note because i'm feeling a little bit sentimental right now it was a wonderful year and i'm really glad that i met the people that i did and that everything turned out the way it did and i wouldn't have had it any other way honestly and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and i will see you in the next one